Hola. Here to do a general collective reading. Third party situations. Checking in, checking in. Third party situation. What the f is going on? Third party situation. What the f is going on? I know you, some of y'all are some haters. Some big old haters. Y'all hate when I do this. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. May not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments. Give me that thumbs up because you two be tripping, tripping. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. If, it's a, if it doesn't fit, you must have quit. Take the bits and pieces that resonate with you. Leave everything else on the dance floor. Moonwalk your job ass on away from it. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, you can do so by following all the links down below. If you're interested in about 80% of the decks that I use on the channel, you can find them all linked down below in the list titled, These Are a Few of My Favorite Things. If you are interested in getting a life coaching session with me, down below. And if you are interested in donating to the channel, you can find all of my donation links down below, including my GoFundMe and my Cash App. All right. So... On the count of three, we are going to take our deep breath. One, two, three. Let's get into it. Third party situation. What the is going on, universe? This is a third party situation. What the is going on? Please keep these messages as simple and as clear as possible. Third party situation. What the f is going on, universe? Third party situation. We have magical mindset first out. <clears throat> hmm. For all the haters, it says everything is divine. You don't get your hating ass on out of here. Third party situation, universe. What the f going on third party situation universe what the going on what do we need to know subconscious mind recondition your subconscious change your life that is a fact destructive habits addictions that says addictions to gambling, alcohol, sex, negatively impacting relationships, toxic thinking, toxic thinking behaviors. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Third party situation. What the is going on? Third party situation universe. What the is going on? We have feel great first. That says feel the feeling of having a partner. Healthy relationship, raise your vibration, will attract the same. And physical intimacy. Uh, the topic is up for discussion. Choose healthy, balanced relationships, doing it for the right reasons. That's an interesting line right there. Bottom of the deck, we have the escape artist. Escape artist, talking again. Yeah, because I was about to say, y'all ain't speaking. And reckless, just reckless. Somebody's watching you though. It always feels like somebody's watching. And look at the first card out here. I see you looking with your looking ass. Catch no man. Okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Third party situation universe. What the is going on? Besides no communication, one card at a time, please. Third party situation, no reversals. And judgment. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I feel a woo coming on. A woo. I really feel a resurrection. Or either. Okay, I'm sorry. Third party situation. What the f is going on, universe? We have the moon. We have judgment and the moon. That's two major arcanas. That's interesting. Third party situation universe. We have the nine of cups. That's crazy. Nine of cups underneath the destru destructive habits. Uh, eight of cups. Seven of 
singing that song, uh, get you to the moon. One more universe. Third party situations. Two of wands. Two of hearts. Two of hearts. Um, five of swords. Five of swords. Escape artist. That's interesting. Ten of swords. Talking again. Four of cups. Reckless. And seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Let's talk our way through this. So what I'm seeing here. Something about this connection was um, there's a there's a sense of which I don't believe there's anything. Um, I don't believe that. Co uh, why can't I talk? So I feel like you like your person wants to say something to you, but doesn't know exactly what to say, because like I know what I want to say, but I can't say it right now. OK, deep breath. I don't believe in coincidences, but I believe that everything that has happened in this particular connection was supposed to happen. And I feel like it was divinely guided. Um, so it is said like 80% of our life is created from our subconscious mind, which is why it's so important to train your subconscious mind, right? That's why we have to be aware of our subconscious diet, what we're watching, what, what we're seeing, where we're hanging, who we're hanging with, what we're listening to. All those things. That's why I listen to subliminals all day long. I sleep to frequencies. Like all, I'm not even joking. This is every day I do this now. So I feel like there was a, a sense of divinity in bringing you all together, divine intervention to bring you all together in order to reshape your lives, so to speak, because you create mostly from your subconscious mind. So it was like subconsciously you all attracted one another to the other, right? Whatever it was that you were feeling, thinking, and there's a there's an element of being um a bit unfulfilled here. Um, but I feel as though your partner is um destructive in their ways i feel like again your partner has something to say but they don't know exactly how to get it out they don't know exactly what to say we see that ten of swords that popped out here so something here has ended and i do feel like there's no communication which is funny because i started this with the question of third party situation what the fuck is going on which is i typically do no communication what the fuck is going on so that's pretty interesting as well I definitely feel like this is a situation where you guys are not communicating um, at all. And I feel like your person is really, really wanting to say something to you. But I feel like your person is a victim of their own circumstances right now. There's some fears happening here. There's some stagnation happening here. Your person is really in their own way. With this being a third party situation, it definitely isn't easy, right? But I feel like your person is because they won't get out of their own way it's making things even more challenging than they already are and your person is or has resolved to feel better first before they reach out to you to put themselves in a better place so i feel like something is broken down for your person like way way down whether it's their life something in their life is like seriously broken apart and like crumbled and they feel like um, I feel like they are thinking a lot about you. I feel like they're trying to figure out um, exactly what to do, what to say. Wouldn't be surprised if the Seven of Cups comes out here. Oh, we already got it. Seven of Pentacles. Um, this Seven of Pentacles is about confusion. This Seven of Pentacles is about not knowing what to do, not knowing how to come. Look at this. All this cloudiness behind here and that danger card. So... I feel like your person is wanting to feel better about themselves and feel better about the situation before they come towards you. So to get a little bit more clarity, because I do feel that your person right now is overwhelmed with a lot of emotions. And I don't think it's just emotion for you. I think it's emotion in life. I think your person really doesn't know what to do. And I think they, they are at a place where it's like, they know that they want to speak to you again. They know that they miss you. They know that they want to bring this back around and they want to circle the block. Absolutely. But I still feel like there's an element to this where they don't know what happens then. Right. And they don't want to fall into the same old, same old to where they're doing the same thing again, walking away from you, confused, 
feeling overwhelmed with all of these emotions that they have for you, you know? And I think that a lot of this connection may have, especially from your person, it may have come across as like a frequency of just sexual energy, but I think it's way more than that. So if this was just like a booty call, or this was just a situation where it was strictly sexual, I do feel like your person has caught feelings. You might want to go listen to uh, Flow of Trees Feelings. That is a great song. But I do think that your person has caught feelings. And I don't think that this is just something that is strictly sexual here. But I think that your person has to make a decision. And they're pretty much at a crossroads. So they are at a very critical uh, juncture in their life where there's a lot of fragility here, right? Your person... Um, I feel like the ending of this caused a lot of devastation with you. I, I, I don't see what happened with your person. I think your person's reaction was delayed because of their destructive habits, because of the way that they're able to just kind of cast things off. I think initially you went through a very, very painful period. And I think that it was devastating because maybe you were blindsided or this caught you off guard here with this moon card and judgment. Maybe you didn't see it coming that this person was thinking about walking away from you or shifting away from you or, or stopping or minimizing communication. Um, but I think that what your person really wants is you. I think that they just have a lot going on and their destructive habits kind of took over. I think this person is struggling with all of the emotions that they're feeling for all of the, every body who's involved in this situation and they know that they have to take a stance they know that they have to make a decision here i think that um they buried a lot of things in their subconscious but i also think that this whole entire connection really um pushed you all catapulted you all and served as a catalyst to some healing too you know i think that there are a lot of things that are buried in the subconscious mind of both of you all. And this may have triggered a lot of those things. But overall, I feel like you guys had a lot in common. I feel like this was a, a, a um, something that kind of took you by storm. Something that maybe you weren't really seeking out. Because I do feel like there's divine intervention here. But I feel like there's a sense there's just an element of unfulfillment that brought you all to this place but then destructive habits drove you all apart from each other your person is like making this excuse in their head of i have to feel better first i have to get my shit together before i move towards them i think that your person thinks so much about being intimate with you especially if you guys have shared very intimate moments but I think deep down in their subconscious, they're calling towards you. They're pulling on your energy and you might be feeling that a lot more now. Your person is definitely watching you. And I feel like your person, like this situation became so chaotic in your person's mind that the only thing that they could fathom to do was to escape, to run away, to go. So I do think that there is just like a sudden stop that happened here that caught you off guard. And it was like out of nowhere, out of the blue, you guys may have even had plans to be together and maybe separate from your other significant others or whatever the case may be. And then all of a sudden your person took a, a left to Albuquerque, right? And like just went off the rails, cut communication. And it was like, whoa, like, and it made you question, was this really real here? Because it appeared as though your person really wanted this. Nine of Cups uh, clarifying the destructive habits. Your person really wanted this, but your person had destructive habits that maybe they hadn't even been aware of that is really these destructive habits were buried in their subconscious mind and now it's being brought to the forefront of their mind because you are here so your person has some healing to do your person was going through or has some some type of trauma some type of situation that they needed to heal from that they have buried into their subconscious mind and the only thing that they could do is to walk away because of all of this chaos that they see here. They had to, they had to self-sabotage. They wouldn't have, I mean, you know, in this situation, I feel like this is one of those situations where it seems so great, but then like, if you guys broke apart from your other people and then you came together, it's like, would it still be great? 
right? Is is are you guys fascinated with the secret, the the darkness of it, the element of surprise with it all, you know? You know, sneaking behind people's backs and things. Like all of that is a dopamine hit, right? And I feel like this person was like, but but like if I leave this, is this really real? Like what if what I, is what I'm feeling really real? I think your person wants to talk again. I definitely feel that they want to talk again. I definitely feel like um, they spend a lot of time in isolation right now because I don't see their other person here anywhere. They spend a lot of time in isolation thinking about you and thinking about how reckless they were with your heart. I do feel that this person is strategizing. I do feel that this person is watching you. I do feel this person wants to come back around, but this person doesn't know what to say. They don't know how to come because of how they left because they did that sabotage, because they escaped, because they ghosted, because they just disappeared. You know, they don't know how to come back from that. Um, and, I, and I also feel like they know what you're thinking. They know that you think this may have been strictly sexual, that, you know, you're questioning if they really cared about you, if they really loved you, if they really, you know, if this relationship was really real, if it was, you know, everything that you felt, if that was like real deal and, I just don't think they know. I don't think that this person is prepared to come back around to answer the questions that you have for them on why they did, why they chose to do what they wanted to do. I think that this person feels safer away from you because if they see you cry or see the pain in your eyes or see, you know, the the hurt that they caused you, I think it would rip this person to shreds. And I think this person definitely is being cowardice right now. And I think that they just feel like they don't know how to approach you. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. Um, all they know is that they fucked up really, really, really bad. Let's pull some more cards. Third party situation universe. Look at this. I just split the deck just for you. So a message is definitely coming through and learn through this. I said that in the beginning, there are great, there are great lessons that were buried deep in the subconscious minds of both of you all, that this particular connection was to exist for, you know, everything, everything has its own reasons for existing. I think that this connection here um, was to shake out some of the debris, the karmic debris that was buried in the subconscious. No communication. You... Mm. So we have be patient and clear the air. No communication. What is going on? We have mommy issues. Tra Didn't I say trauma involved? Look at that. Bottom of the deck, you have you are not being heard. Minor setback. Childhood memories, yeah. Secrets involved. Yeah, and then giving and receiving is under that. And express yourself more clearly. So yeah, this, this is all about some trauma that is buried deep, deep within them. You know, maybe this person is living up to the idea of what their life should be. You know, what their mother thinks their life should be or their parents or their parental units or whatever the case may be. This person absolutely wants to clear the air, but they just don't feel that the time is right. So I feel like the universe is asking you to be a little bit patient because this is a little bit deeper than you even know, you know, even though you've gone through your own pain with this and your own lesson, whatever lesson was drugged up, dredged up for you. I think that, um, this, this is just a minor setback, but it's a, it's a necessary setback, right? I do think this is going to come back around, not, maybe not as a relationship per se, but this is definitely going to come back around in the form of communication. Absolutely. I think that these secrets are really weighing on this person, that this secret relationship, this secret love that this person feels for you. I think that it's weighing on this person very heavily. And I think that this person right now is having to take time out to deal with what this particular relationship brought to the forefront of their mind. And they're having to deal with this trauma. They're having to look at their life. They're having to see, you know, if they're living up to other people's expectations of what their life should be, they're looking at that and realizing just how unfulfilled they are and how they are no longer in alignment with who they used to be. 
Let's pull some more cards and then I'm going to go to the extended because I want to see what this person's next actions are because this person definitely wants to talk to you. They definitely want to reach out to you and clear the air, um, but I don't think they know how to go about doing that. Third party situation universe. What the is going on? Whoa, too many. No reversals either. I haven't used these cards in forever. Look, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So we got clear your energy twice. We have attraction. Your attraction, or you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You have playfulness. Uh, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to a fun to shine through. We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And let's get one more. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. This person might be sick right now, like me. Worth waiting for. Divine timing. Yeah, I've been talking about that this whole reading. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Secret in love. Bottom of the deck, romantic feelings. So the feelings are still there. If you're worried about that, the feelings are still there. The passion is still there. We saw um, physical intimacy earlier. We have flirt here. Religious factors and love yourself first and stay optimistic about your love life. What's under that? And deception. Yeah, so this person is wearing a mask. I don't think this person is happy. Well, they couldn't have been if they if you guys had um, an affair of some sort. They couldn't have been in the first place. Not happy, unfulfilled. Um, this person could possibly be walking away from that other person because it has released your ex first. I think this person is doing their best to stay in the moment, but I do feel a pull into the past. But I think the universe wants you guys to realize that what has happened no longer exists, so it's not real, right? So like the only time that truly exists is now. The past is not here. The future hasn't arrived yet. The only time that truly exists, like no time, time is like a construct. No time is real, right? Because now is it. We are only in the now. And in the next moment is the now. And the next moment is the now when we get there, right? So everything else, when, when we get into our heads and we time travel in our heads and our minds, that's not real. And so everything that has happened, you've got to release it because you're holding on to something that no longer exists. And when this person comes back around, you've got to accept them for who they are at the in the moment. And they've got to accept you for who you are in the moment. If that's hurt, if that's terrified, if that's a coward, if that whatever it is, if that's still in love, whatever it is, you've got to accept them for, for the truth of the moment because what has happened no longer exists. Yeah, you guys can talk about it. Yeah, you can go through it and everything. But like now is all you have. And that's it. So I think these feelings still exist. I think this person misses your playfulness that you guys had. I think that this person really did love you and still does. And I think that this is worth waiting for if this person is truly releasing their ex. Um, I just think that you just need to stay in a moment and you need to continue to work on whatever lessons this particular connection dredged up for you because... Um, in the end, you can't do anything about this person. You can't make this person act. You can't give this person courage. You can't love this person in the life. This person has to see their life in its truth. And in the truth of it is this person is unfulfilled. This person is unfulfilled. This person is isolating right now. This person doesn't know how to come back around. This person wants to clear the air and has no idea how to do that because this person is, they took... Um, a very cowardly route to this connection or in this connection. So it's just what it is. So I'm going to move on to the extended. Any extended, I think the first question, I'm a free flow, ask a few questions, but the first question is going to be what this person's next actions are. So if you'd like to join me in the extended, you can do so by following the link down below. Again, if you want to get a personal reading with me, that is linked down below as well. And you can donate to the channel. Everything is linked down below. If you don't want to follow me nowhere because you know my crazy ass is lost to you, ain't got to. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon.